everyone, welcome back to Liz Sews. Today we'll be going over a look at all of the things that I've been sewing in the month of August. I had initially thought that I wasn't going to do a whole lot in August just because I was gonna be tired from the great breast sewing bee, but I've actually been quite prolific and I'm really excited to share with you all the things that I've made. So this month's theme was neon, but before we get into neon, I thought we'd take a look at my Disney bounding project first. So originally I had Cinderella slated for December because I was thinking that my October project might take me two months. Uh, but after making sort of like the corset for Ariel and taking two months on that, I don't think I need it. So I decided to move this Cinderella project up and then I have a different Disney princess decided for December. So for Cinderella, this is the design that I came up with and I absolutely love it. Um, so obviously the star of this one is this sort of like Aurora Borealis multicolored rhinestone piece that hangs off of the bra itself. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it really sort of like amps it up a little bit and makes it special. Um, I've actually attached this with some just plain hook and eyes onto the bra. So it's something that I can easily take off if I need to wash it or you just want to use it for like a more usable occasion. I actually think I actually think this is a bra that I might get a lot of wear out of just because I really, really like how it turned out. So for the main fabric, I've chosen this sort of stretch satin that I purchased from Beware out in Sweden. If it's still available, I'll link it down in the comment. If it's still available, I'll link it down in the description box below. So the lower cup is made out of that. And then the upper cup is made out of some ruched bra tool that I purchased from the TaylorMade shop. So this started as the Emerald Air and Black Beauty. Um, I converted it from horizontal to a diagonal seam right there. And then I added that extra ruching detail. I really, really love how it turned out. Uh, I also have this sort of like strappy detail, hopefully you can see at the top here, of some fold over elastic that attaches to the bridge up into those rings there that give it a nice effect. So at first when I was designing Cinderella, I was thinking of a more like dominatrix style, uh, owing to the fact that she always wears that like black choker. And I kind of want to like turn that black choker into a big, you know, black harness. I thought that would be really interesting and edgy. Um, but I ended up just sticking with the black choker, but I did want to give a nod to that sort of like strappy detail with that fold over elastic there. And I, I love how it turned out. Um, I think this bra fits me really, really well, which is one of the reasons why I can wear it. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. And I've actually done a gothic arch in the center just to get a little bit more uh, visual interest in the front. It doesn't have much functional benefit to me, but I think it kind of looks nice every now and then. And here you can see what it looks like from the inside. Of course, if you want to learn more about the construction process of me making my Cinderella bra, I will have, I do have videos of that already up on my channel and I can link them in the I cards above. So here's what it looks like from the inside. And then of course you can just see right here where I've just hand sewn on a little bit of hook and eye that allows me to attach and detach the sparkly rhinestone bit. And then for the bottoms, I've chosen the Eva panty from Studio Costura Shop. And I've done a two tone on here. So of course the main fabric is again that, that same uh, ice blue stretch satin that I purchased from Beware that I've used up in the bra itself. And then for the like details on this side, I've used this dotted, I think it might be stretch mesh that came from Emerald Erin. I actually had a kit in this fabric that I've used to make a bra and underwear and I had just enough left over to do this sort of like detail on here. Uh, I absolutely love how this turned out. I know this is the same panty pattern that I used for Ariel, but I think it looks completely different for this one. And to me, uh, it definitely reminds me of Cinderella. I think having that little like dotted lacy bit just along the edge is that perfect sort of like nod to Cinderella that works really well. So quite happy with this set. Um, definitely, I think this might be my favorite Disney set I've made so far. I'm probably excited about my future plans, so we never know. But for now, Cinderella is my favorite Disney set. So now moving on to the more neon makes this month. The first one I have up is a neon coral bra tool that I purchased from Emerald Erin. So here's the bra. And I actually ended up doing, again, 
four layers of bra tool. So I did four layers in the upper cup and lower cup here, just so that I got a really vibrant color payout because bra tool tends to be a little washed out on me. So I, I decided to, to amp it up. So it's four layers purely because I wanted more saturation and color, not necessarily because I needed the stability from it. And then Ying of the TaylorMade shop has been using this like three eighths of an inch uh, elastic for a while and I, I went ahead and purchased some black one and I got really excited for it. So I've used that along the cross cup seam here as well as highlighting the underwire. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I've done a couple of bras where I put the underwire casing on the outside, which I quite like, but it's not as comfortable to wear for me. So this one, the underwire casing is actually still on the inside. It's just that I have used that um, three eighths of an inch flat elastic to sort of like accentuate it on the outside. So you get the impression that it's the inside out bra, even though it isn't. Uh, and I think this was really, really effective. And it's something that I plan on doing again. I ended up purchasing this in a lot of different colors. So uh, don't be surprised if you see it in a couple more bras this year. And then when I was making this, when I was making this, I had to do some troubleshooting. So I had ended up applying I had applied this, this uh, decorative elastic on the outside here without realizing that I hadn't put my bottom band on yet. And so once it was on, I had no way, I didn't have enough room to maneuver to put like my bottom band Pico and then flip it up to the inside. So I went digging through my stash and I found this wide, um, elastic that I had purchased a while ago from Bra Builders. And I decided to put that on there instead. And I absolutely love it. I think it, it is a great echo or, or a uh, mirroring of all of those other graphic lines that you see in the cup itself. I think it really pulls it all together and gets something that looks quite sporty. So really, really happy how this turned out. So even though it was an accident that I ended up having to use this, I think it made a better bra as a result of it. Um, so this one is quite comfortable. It feels really sporty because I have this like higher cup piece here. Um, I feel a lot more contained. So it's definitely one that I say would le lean more on the sporty side, but still right up my alley in terms of aesthetic. And I really had a lot of fun. Um, and, and again, the happy accident. So that's what it looks like from the outside. And then, you know, from the inside, it looks a little bit more plain, but you can see here's the, the underwire channeling sitting on the inside, just because for me, I find it more comfortable to have this against my skin. It's always fun to try other things like putting it on the outside, but you know, most of the times I, I always end up back to my like comfort zone of what it is I really like wearing. Um, but yeah. Really happy with how this one turned out with the coral bra tool from Emerald Aaron. So next up on the neon train, I bought this absolutely stunning coral lace from the TaylorMade shop. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this lace was really popular because I think it sold out really quickly. Uh, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and get this sewn up this summer and I'm so happy I did because the bra is perfect as far as I'm concerned. So here is the bra itself. Um, I'll put up a picture over here of some sort of like inspiration that I was going for. So the things that I liked about the inspiration bra, I liked the idea of having, you know, the fabric below and then the more sheer upper cup. I thought that looked really cool. So I wanted to make sure I incorporated that. And of course, some extra strappy details on there as well. So the lace itself, as I had said, came from the TaylorMade shop. And then I custom dyed everything else to match it. I used dyes from Dharma Trading Company. And I think I used a combination of lemon yellow, which is a fluorescent yellow color. And fuchsia. They have a fluorescent fuchsia as well. I think that I used, I also looked at mixing fuchsia and traffic cone orange, um, but I was getting too much of an orange result. And I really wanted something that, that was leaning more on this like pinky coral zone. So that's why I switched over to using fuchsia and yellow, but it took me a couple tries to get the right color, but I got there in the end. And I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love, love, love this bra. So for this one, I did do, there's quite a lot of layers in the bottom here. So I put some foam just in the bottom of the cup. I wanted to see if I could do foam just in, in the bottom and sort of give me a little bit extra lift, but without adding any more bulk or anything like that. And I think it turned out quite well because I, I really wanted to make sure this top cup here, you saw that lace against skin because I think that that is such an interesting effect. 
So I have a layer of cut and sew foam here where I finished the top edge of it just with a uh, fold over elastic. And then I have, um, what else do I have in here? I just have a layer of stretch satin that I've dyed in that coral color. And then on the very exterior, a layer of the lace itself. I, that's one thing I'm noticing a lot in my bra making is I really enjoy layering fabric to get some more textures. Uh, to me, I don't find it fiddly. I just really enjoy sort of like manipulating things and putting lots and lots of different layers. So it really like, changes the look. That's something that I enjoy in my bra making. So I always enjoy like, like learning more about myself and figuring out what it is that really works for me because I think that just makes the hobby more satisfying. So here's what it looks like from the inside of the bra with that little foam cup and then all of the matching dyed elastics and on the outside. So the pattern I used for this, I think started as the Black Beauty, as most of mine do, uh, converted it to a diagonal seam, and then I added this like strap attachment point and all this extra stuff. So, I mean, it's hardly recognizable as the Black Beauty, but I think that's one of the reasons why the Black Beauty is my favorite pattern is because I can manipulate it and change it in so many ways and completely you know, redo the look. It's a good base pattern to work with a block. So that's the bra and this was so successful i knew i needed to go ahead and make some bottoms to go with it so here are my bottoms again inspired by that original uh photo these turned out really really fun so i just used some dark nude mesh micro mesh and i think this was purchased from fabric.com but you know wherever it has met micro mesh and then i just cut out a single motif of the flower itself because i knew i needed it to be stretched on the bottom i couldn't really make the whole underwear the lace so i just cut out a single one and then i went in with my machine and sort of like zigzagged down around all of these edges and it actually worked really well because it's so thin right here it does allow it to sort of like stretch and move just as i need to and when i put it on it pulls quite taut and it just looks dreamy i mean it looks like a floating little neon flower in a sea of skin and i think it just looks so cool so very happy with how these turned out i mean super simple right like it's just a i think this might be a watson brief um, with that little lace accent to it but i think it really ties the look together and has a very impactful graphic look with these like neon fold over elastic and then that little bit of hibiscus lace on there so the next set is one that was several weeks in the making because as i was going along i'd be like oh i need one more thing and so i'd ordered it and it'd take a while to get here and then when i get that on i'd be like oh i need one more thing and i'd order that um so it took me several weeks to finish this bra but i'm quite happy with how it turned out so here is my hot, hot, hot neon yellow uh, bustier. So this is using the diamond bustier pattern from Pin Up Girls. Uh, I do quite like that pattern. Of course, I have altered the, the frame of it to fit a little bit better on my body, but the cups are ultimately that pattern. Uh, again, just like that coral and black bra, I used this 3 8 of an inch elastic, and this one I purchased in, in white, and then I dyed it to match. This entire thing has been dyed, um, so all the materials I started with were white, and then I used the acid dye in the lemon yellow to get this nice bright yellow tennis ball color. So I applied that full over, not full over elastic, 3 8 inch elastic along all the seam lines of the cups to sort of like bring them out, make them a little more graphic. And I also applied them along where all of my boning were in the bodice itself. That's because the boning is a fabric casing on it. Um, and the casing is made out of cotton. It does not take dye at all. And so when I put the white ones white casing on the inside it looked really jarring from the outside so that was like i only went back and purchased this elastic so that i could cover it up and i really i really like how it looks i think it's it makes a huge graphical statement to have this sort of like light ethereal nature of the bra tool and then these harsh lines something i really really enjoy and then on the bottom band here is just wide elastic uh, i think this one i purchased from porcelain and it came in white uh, and then i just dyed it to match because i do quite like those on my bustiers i think they make the the stomach portion a lot more comfortable for me when i have the thick band on the bottom versus pico which i have done in some of mine and then on the back of this guy here, I kind of done a hybrid. I still use that really tall hook and eye closure on the back, um, but I my preference is always for a scoop back design and that doesn't particularly work the best when doing long line bras. So I have crossed my straps in the back like this, 
So hopefully you can see there. So um, I still get that scoop neck back, but then the straps cross cross so that I have good amount of tension along the bust line here. So that is the bra, super fun. And then of course to go with it, I had to make a matching set. And so I have done a thong. It just felt appropriate to do a thong with such a nice, bright, fiery set. So this thong is a pattern that I drafted myself. I do have a tutorial up from on my channel. Hopefully I'll, I'll try to remember to link it up here, so, up here somewhere so that you guys can see that if you're interested. Uh, and the thong is made using micro mesh that I have dyed to match. And again, fold over elastics. So that's what it looks like from the front, you know, and from the back, we all know what, what basic thongs look like. But I just thought like this had a lot going on. I didn't want to get too fancy on the bottoms, but I liked the idea of doing just a, a nice fiery little thong to go with it. So very excited with this set. So last up, I have two swimsuits that I made this month. The first one was one I had in my plans video. Uh, so this is the green style creation sports bra. And I've just sort of like used swimwear and swimwear elastic to turn it into a swimming suit. And my idea with this was doing a really nice like color block design. So you can see here in the front, I have like the pink and the lime green and the purple band along the bottom. And then I did purple straps. And so from the back, this guy, I really like this pattern for sports bra because it has this really unique like four strap cross design that looks really, really pretty. And um, yeah, so for this one, I tried something new, which I've never done before, which was lining my suits in swimwear fabric. And uh, it was successful in the top, less successful in the bottoms. And we'll get to that a little bit later. So the inside is lined with the same fashion fabric as the outside. I thought that would look really nice. And then I've also added a little pocket in here. So I did not attach my lining along the sides, which allows me to sort of like slip in a foam cup in here if I want to, or I can take it out if I don't. So the top worked out really, really well. And then for the bottoms, I used my own self-drafted pattern. And again, I used fashion fabric on the inside and the outside. So it's like lined in two layers of swimsuit material. And the reason that these did not turn out as well is I'm sure everyone will probably have figured out that they're too small. So when you're using two layers of swimwear fabric, it definitely changes the fit of the garment and it definitely made it too small. So I had been talking to Sarah over at Bikini Design Club and she says that like normally she she drafts her like reversible ones with, I think she said 8% stretch, whereas a non-reversible might be drafted with uh, 12% stretch. So it's a good thing to keep in mind as I move forward, but uh, you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> so the, I think the bottoms look really cool. I, I love this color blocking detail and I love the way they look together. I'll probably wear this and I can certainly wear this with some black bottoms. I might have to revisit this guy in the future and redo them or figure out some way that I can get this to work a little bit better so that it will fit on me. So from the back, like this just looks all pink and purple. And then from the front is where you get to see that little pop of green but I mean I quite like it it looks 80s style and you know I learned something so it's not a complete loss and then the last suit I have to show you is, is a fairly simple suit but this is one um, when I was doing my swimwear video for last month I was looking at new pattern designers that I hadn't like tried before and so I went ahead and purchased uh, stuff from a place called I think it's called Studio Arena I just wanted to see what it was like her patterns were incredibly inexpensive about like three dollars a piece I want to say so I just wanted to try it and see it so I've made this one up from her patterns and it's a it's a very basic you know one piece that tends to be what I like but it has a nice deep V in the front um, a nice low back in the back and uh, I think originally this design was intended for the straps to come straight down like this. However, when I tried it on, uh, I, it did not work for me. Like I was getting a lot of bagging along the side here and like side boobage showing. So I decided to go back in and I changed them to be a, a cross back strap, which personally I think looks even better, um, but it, it, it gives me a lot more security on the side seam here. So switching it from a straight, straight down strap to a cross strap definitely gave me a lot more security made me feel more comfortable in this suit um it's you know it's a fine suit there's nothing wrong with it but there's also nothing great about it either uh, i i vastly prefer 
Bikini Design Club bottoms because they have a seam that runs down the center back, which gives you a really nice shape. This one is cut on the fold, and so it doesn't really um, give me as nice of like a cupping as Bikini Design Club patterns, but you know, I, I, it was worth a try and for $3 a pattern, <laughs> whatever. So that is all of the things that I have made in the month of August. I hope you guys are excited about it. Let me know now in the comments below which one was your favorite item and I will see everyone next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.